341 days. That's how long the state of Idaho has been under a declared state of emergency, about 281 days longer than would be allowed unless approved by the state legislature. That is, if, if Representative Jason Monk's bill moves through the Senate and is signed by the governor. Yesterday, House Bill 135 was passed to the Senate side by a vote of 49 to 20. This bill would also limit other executive powers during an emergency, but not take any away is what we heard, according to Representative Monks. Instead, he says it helps kind of draw a line in the sand, more of a divvying up of the responsibilities of the legislative and executive branches. Essentially, the bill changes the amount of time an emergency declaration can be declared from 30 days to 60 days, so it adds some time there. But if it were need to go longer, say during another pandemic or epic emergency, it would have to get approval from the legislature. The governor would not be able to suspend any laws during that time, like churches would not be forced to close. It also would deem all jobs essential during an emergency. So during the debate, they needed two thirds of the House to agree to suspend the rules, and they did, so then they debated. This provides clarity and it provides protections and it allows the state to respond to emergencies. After Mount St. Helens erupted in 1980, covered us with ash, and then the prison riots that happened just outside of town in the summer of 1980, after those events, we amended this statute to give the gentleman on the second floor the authority to use emergency funds. We had never done that before. We learned an important lesson and we modified the statute. We need to make sure that the laws we write don't just don't deal in reaction to what we have today, but the scenarios for the future. This is simply assuring that the legislature and the people within the state have a say on how that emergency is managed. The gentleman on the second floor, as you heard referenced, would be the governor. Uh, he's also referencing the location of his office. The House voted 49 to 20, as I said, in the favor of that bill. Now moves to the Senate, and this is just the latest attempt to adjust how state of emergencies are handled in Idaho po post pandemic. Another that wanted to end the declaration immediately. Well, that's still in the Senate State Affairs Committee.